You will lose your advantage if you forget about it. Today I want to tell you why you shouldn't neglect the quality rest and why you need to relax even if you are a hard worker. As always, I will start with a story from my life that taught me a lot. I've always loved to work. It's very valuable for me to know that I managed to do a lot and to understand that I'm staying in the motion. If the opportunity to watch the movie or, for example, go to the bar warms the soul for someone, I feel the same when I'm working. I think it all started with the biography of Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson. That moment I was 14 years old and I was inspired by the idea to create my own business. Then I developed my first business plan. I realized at that moment that I'm entering an extremely interesting life but it will be necessary for me to do a lot in order to see the result. Since then, the incredible amount of different things happened, but I want to focus on last three years when I reached a new level. About three years ago, I moved away from my parents and started living by my own. At that time, I already had an amazing job and developed a couple of projects. I cannot feel tired from something for a long time if I like it, and I like something that makes me grow. If my goal is to make a lot of money, then I like working on my project or at least as a hired person, correct? This is my way of thinking. After the move, I plunged into the working process and, you know, as it's written in different books about productivity, about business, I was that guy who came to the office the first and who left the last. I gave myself completely to what I do and I believe this is the right approach. But at one moment something happened. The company where I was working started to have some serious problems and the majority of partners refused to sign the contract one more time to prolong it, no matter how hard they tried. That's normal, just one more barrier on the way. This is what I was thinking at the time. But I didn't take into consideration that the nature of this problem, it was a bit different. Every problem before that was solved by diligence, by hard working and by involvement, but at that moment in time, they didn't work. Here the situation wasn't caused by me, but because of what was happening there, I was dropped out of the process. This was precisely what became the point of no return for me. For several months, nothing gave the usual result and I started to think that my work was useless. My involvement dropped a lot and odd enough, but that was the moment when I realized how actually tired I was. It was a kind of inner tiredness that can't be noticed when you do what you really love. But once you stop doing this, it comes out. Do you know how I rested the time? I just slept six hours a day, on a night actually, and sometimes we went for a walk with my girlfriend. That's it. I almost never went anywhere. For me, only my home and my work existed, and I didn't want to rest, to be honest. So, what that situation taught me? I believe that sometimes you have to look inside, deeper inside, to find something that's hidden from your eyes. Any engine will overheat if you never put away your leg from the gas, but in this case, you won't reach the finish line, you'll leave the race. Was my behavior a mistake? I still don't know, because it's labor that gives us result, and if it gives us the pleasure as well, this is a double win. But on the other hand, perhaps I need to find a middle ground so not to fall away from the race when it starts to slow down. One way or another, but now I changed my strategy a bit and try to balance between leisure and between work. However, I still work a lot and have pleasure because of it. I want to share with you my three conclusions from the situation that happened to me at the time. First, focus on the quality of your rest, not on the quantity. Any rest should give us more energy to move forward. This is what helps us to continue the journey. It would be ideal if when it's needed, you know, we just were able to put the magic button and restore all of our energy in one second. Sadly, but we don't have such button. It's worth trying to find the ideal way to have a rest but it won't be easy for sure, you have to be prepared for it. And please, don't forget to get rid of all ineffective options. To do this, try to apply a simple technique that will show you how you're resting from a different angles. As I like, take a piece of paper and a pen and write down in a column all the ways you used to have a rest. Everyone will have their own ways. Someone will play chess, somebody will go to the bar and for other person, sticking to the phone is the best option. Done? All right, that's amazing. Now let's rate each of them on how efficiently they restore your long-term charge. One note, I'm talking about the long-term charge that doesn't drain when you come back to the work. Write the number from 1 to 5 near each item where 1 will mean that the charge disappears really fast and 5 that it's a long-term charge. Now let's use the same 5-point scale to understand 
How often do you use each of those types of relaxation? Done? Okay, let's go ahead. Now it's important to find the way of rest that will give you most emotional pleasure. Sometimes the amount of energy you have very much depends on what do you feel inside. Therefore, not only the efficiency, but also the process is very important. The third metric will show how the process itself is pleasant for you. So rate it from one to five. Row three numbers near each item. Now multiply them and pay attention to the highest grade. This is your number one. I think for most it will be a night gym and that's justified because when we sleep we restore the energy most efficiently. Think now, do you need those items that scored the least points? Maybe it's better to get rid of them. I have two ideal ways to relax that combine all three metrics, sleep and walk. They give me a right mood and leave a long-term boost of energy. Plus, it's very pleasant to do them both. The quality of our rest is like the quality of food that we consume. It's worth getting the best option. And if you can't break the limits right now, try to pay attention to how do you restore your strength. Second, don't forget to listen to your body. This is one of important conclusions that I made after my last burnout. Remember, you and your body work together. I'm constantly obsessed with efficiency and how much I get done. That's amazing, I think so but you don't need to ignore the signals of your body. If it says that you're working too hard, in some cases it can be reasonable, but in the minority of them. Remember, you and I were in a marathon, it's not a sprint. It's important to reach a long-term goal, not to fall without any strength in 100 meters. For a proper functioning of your body, you need to take a responsible approach to what you eat. I won't give you any advice on it, because I'm not a nutritionist, but I just want to pay your attention to the fact that this is important. Lack of quality rest can directly affect your body. Skin or hair problems can be an indicator. Also look at how easily do you wake up in the morning and whether you feel sleepy during your day. This is also a great indicator of your tone. Working without a break, you risk to lose your health and sometimes it's very difficult to restore it. Moreover, here I'm talking not about the physical health, but also about the way of thinking. Believe me, after the burnout, it's a paramount task to deal with your head. But if you think that working 16 hours a day without weekends, you will earn more money, I will disappoint you. Most likely, if you are not the absolute fan of what you do, soon you will need to have some weeks in order to restore. Is it worth it? And most likely it will require not only time injections, but also your financial ones. Try after every time you go to rest, just close your eyes for 20 seconds and feel your body. Did you get more energy? Did you have a great time? Amazing, let's go back to work. And third, learn to work staying relaxed. One of the issues that's holding me back in the long run is that it's very difficult for me to relax when it comes to the personal development. Even if I understand that I'm moving to the right direction and always making steps towards my goal, I always feel that it's not enough. And yes, this is one of the difficulties that I'm always trying to cope with. Nobody is perfect. I'm doing my best and also my girlfriend helps me a lot in this. She helps me not to go crazy. One of the factors of a strong relations is how partners can support and help each other. In my case, Everything is amazing with it. By the way, if to compare two options, working relaxed and working tense, usually the result of the work will be better in the first option. Yes, and that also directly affects the long-term energy that keeps us charged. Why can't the hurricane to approve the tree, but it's not able to do the same with even the tallest grass? Because grass is relaxed and flexible. Tension makes us weaker, not vice versa. There is no point to let emotions and unnecessary thinking to take away our attention. Look at your head as a safe where you store the most important things. You just take one item, put it there, another one, put it there as well, and so on. Gradually, the place becomes smaller and some items, they don't fit inside. But you notice one interesting thing. Something of what you put inside, you don't actually need. Moreover, it has long rotted away and started to poison things around. The best solution is to find the problem and remove it from your safe. So, can you do the same with your way of thinking? I'm just in the process of learning this. Some tasks prove to be much harder than we could expect. But I'm putting myself in dealing with this problem and I admit the fact that it exists. What's about you? Always remember that rest and the opportunity to take a break are not less important than the ability to work hard. It's like the scales. It's good when both bowls are in balance, 
but once they are not, all the construction will fall and need to be repaired. In my experience, I'll tell you, it's better not to reach this critical point, because you will invest a lot of time, money and efforts and your health as well to recover. So, find your perfect ways to relax your head and think about quality, not quantity. Guys, I'm so pleased to see your activity on my channel, thank you for this. Just want to repeat one more time, I appreciate you and I appreciate that you're watching my videos. It's an amazing experience for me. So, if you like this video, give me your like. If you don't, give me your dislike, follow my channel and see you tomorrow, guys.